excited and pleased that over the last couple of years, we've really been attracting what we would say are the right people mm. for our training. And it's been exciting to see, though there are a lot of different kinds of people, mm. um, they all were like, yeah, we're, they're in the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And so there's a, there's a through line that connects everyone. But at the same time, we have young people who are sort of just out of college and taking a training for the first time and going through a lot of transition and growth in their life. And that's been really beautiful to, to hold space for that and have that energy be part of what's happening in the group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then at the same time, we have people that are onto the, maybe their second career or the third career, they're in their second half of life mm -hmm. and feeling like really called to learn a new skill or dive deeper in their practice. Mm -hmm. and and everyone in between, mm -hmm. yeah. And what's been really fun was, is to see how it actually creates more richness in the training to mm -hmm. have a diversity of life experiences mm -hmm. and ages mm -hmm. uh, because the students are really learning from each other rather than having a homogeneous group of students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it feels like because people are, are so different from such different backgrounds, it takes out um, any of that clickishness or or competition that can sometimes be present mm -hmm, in a mm -hmm. yoga community where mm -hmm. everyone is yeah. kind of the same and you know you start looking at well, what is that person doing and mm -hmm. you know and everyone's really coming in um, with a very kind of a vast background mm -hmm. that uh, after the first day or so people start to really soften and and I felt like especially in this last year that people um, it wasn't so much people looking to us as oh, we're here to hear what these people have to say, it was really, they took care of each other and they learned from each other as well. And that feels really special. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like that's such a, a core value for us is to foster that experience that within the group, there's support and there's connection and there's an authentic, safe intimacy that develops through the course of the training. So beautiful. And it's it's been really interesting for me too to see how we have these brand new people coming in who have all of the nervousness about, I've never taught yoga before and I don't know if I want to be a yoga teacher because gosh, that, that sounds overwhelming, but I wanted to do this training and we meet them where they're at. And then also having people come in who have one or two other certifications already under their belt. And as of yet, you know, the, the, the six times we've done the training so far, none of those people have said, oh, it was redundant, mm -hmm. it was boring for me. In fact, we had someone last year, a guy in the training who, who said, you know, people ask me, why would I do another teacher training when I already have my 200 hour? And he sort of jokingly said, it's like asking about the difference between an online kind of bachelor's degree that you could get or going to Berkeley mm -hmm. and, and, or Harvard. He even said, I, I found that of course very flattering, which is why I'm <laughs> repeating it. But, but it, it's, there, there's something about the additional layers that we're passionate about adding on top of learning how to teach a safe class, mm -hmm. understanding the basics of what it is to teach asana and to hold space for people appropriately, and then these specialties that, that we're offering as part of the training. Yeah, I think that I know for all of us, the pieces that we're bringing, the psychology, the philosophy are pieces that we felt were missing in some of our trainings mm, yeah. and often the students that have had a training feel like they're getting the missing piece that's letting them connect the dots for all the other trainings that they've had. Mm -hmm. you know, the other piece around the diversity in our trainings too has been, and I want more of this, is having body diversities. Mm. Having people who are you know, really physically fit and young and, and, and able body, bodied to larger bodied folks or people struggling with chronic illness and really working hard to make the training relevant to everyone. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's some limitation, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of really teaching for specific injuries or specific populations, but mm -hmm. I know so much of our goal is creating this inclusive space. And mm -hmm. I know that the students who have had special needs or more limitations according mm -hmm. to like a really general practice have always felt really supported, mm -hmm. um, by the group and it gives the students an opportunity in real time mm -hmm. to, to think about what does it mean to be inclusive if I'm uh -huh. teaching this pose here, if our friend here can't do it, what yeah. would it look like for them? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. really rich. That's been, been powerful for me too in terms of the group discussions that we have around the readings because mm -hmm. having people with different life experiences 
having people of different ethnicities, races, gender, sexual orientation, all of that in the room, different experiences of, of what it is to work with their bodies. Uh, it makes for a very deep and rich conversation mm -hmm. in which I think there's a, it doesn't have to be at all heavy handed. There's a natural sort of learning process around diversity mm -hmm. that occurs in the space. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's been really nice to see. I feel like every year the students are really pulling through as a great community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I think I would sum up with something that you said, Julian, which was we, we really meet people where they're at mm. when they come in and create, as you said, an inclusive space in which other people can meet themselves where they're at and meet each other where they're at. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we, we wanted to share this with you because we feel like on the first day people come in and when we ask them to share how did you come to this and what's your story and who are you? People kind of apologize about it a little bit, like, uh -huh. well, I, I have this, or uh -huh. I haven't done yoga, or I've uh -huh. already done a training, and, and we wanted to share with you, like, yes, that's that's all part of it, and if you hear in this in this video, like, oh yeah, that sounds like me, then welcome, come on down, we would love to have you join us this year.